What's going on traders and investors, Alex here and today I'll show you guys my traveling trading station because it's my first one. I never had one in the past because I was never really traveling and trading but this time I'm going to be traveling with traders so I thought it was pretty normal for me to have a station while I'm there otherwise I would look a little crazy. So for this setup we have a keyboard, we're going to have an external mouse, we're going to also have two external monitors and everything's going to be connected to my MacBook Pro that I forgot to bring in this room so I'll go get it right away. And the MacBook Pro that I had for about two years and I'm currently running Windows in this so I'm not using the actual Mac. Well, I'm actually using the Mac but I'm running Windows instead of the Mac OS. And let's just build this setup and as usual, all the tools I use to trade will be linked in the description, included all of these tools. So let's get right in. First thing first, let's open this MacBook Pro and uh, you guys can see how dirty it is. Having a bit of batteries pretty good normally. And we're gonna be using Windows as an operating system. And now it's gonna be connecting soon. I would also highly advise anyone to not get a Mac if you're planning to trade on it because it's, it's gonna do these weird ass reset and sometimes there's a bit of issues, but for the most part, it's okay if you're not like in a rush or something like that. So right now I have to restart it again. The way I'm connecting this is with this kit um, for the monitors, you get this, um, not this part, but you get this USB-C cable that I'm just plugging into a Thunderbolt adapter because on the Mac, you only get two little plugs like this. So not quite the best. For the keyboard, um, I went with this little blue and white keyboard. I thought it looks pretty good and it was a cheaper version. So it's not Bluetooth. I'm gonna use everything connected uh, with wires. The reason why is is this Bluetooth is somewhat unreliable when, when you're using Bootcamp. So uh, I'm not gonna take a chance. We're gonna use a wired keyboard. And you can see it's pretty small. The MacBook is a 14 inch and you guys can see it's like the same size. For the first screen, we get this one over here. As you guys can see, it's pretty nice. You just have to uh, flip it like this and it gives you a pretty big, uh, big screen. I'll give you guys another view in just a second when everything is down. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Oh. Mouse, I'm using this little uh, Razer mouse. I mean, it's just super light and it's also cable. So that's the main thing. I don't need that. Screen number one is done. All right. Which is annoying. Uh, the plugs are on this side over here. So you get a bunch of cable. For the keyboard, you got more wire and the second one is gonna have to be plugged with an HDMI and we also need the power adapter because the Thunderbolt gives the power to the monitor but the second one you need a plug. All right, so I'll just show you guys how everything is actually connected so it could be a little bit easier to see. You know, one screen over here. These are 15.6 inches. You get one more screen over here. You get also one more screen over here. This one is a keyboard that's actually connected so it looks pretty good. Uh, this is just a little bit mouse, mouse pad and the mouse over here. And everything is connected mainly with this little hub over here. So you get, um, this is for the mouse and the keyboard. These are just connecting the screen, the power source and the other, this monitor over here. And over here, this side is the HDMI that connects to this one. And this one has the two cable because it needs the power too. And um, now you pretty much have your trading station and I'll show you guys how much space um, there actually is on all this. All right, so on this one that you're currently seeing, so right now there's gonna be one level two, two level two, and all this order window stuff so I can see all my orders because it's pretty important when you're actually traveling that you're able to see your orders properly and they're not hidden on some micro space on your screen. I get a newsfeed scanner on this side. You know, you can choose whatever you want, but everything that you need is gonna be there. And over here, I'm able to look at four charts. So maybe the two stocks I would be watching with their higher time frame, so like a daily or a 15 minute or something like that everything would be there so 15 minute 15 minute two minute or three minute whatever i feel like it on that day and all this little keyboard and mouse over here so the last thing we'll do for this video is put everything in a backpack just to see if it's worth traveling with all this or if it's just too much weight and it's not actually possible so you're going to be able to find out for yourself if it's too much or maybe not enough so we got a slim fit backpack and let's see how everything fits which i think we should probably close everything right you can actually see it's pretty it's pretty thin, right, for all this. Unplug the keyboard, which is pretty nice that it unplugged from that side. So we're not gonna do a cable management or anything like that. So we'll just, uh, everything inside, cause that's probably just how I would do it, to be honest, right? I don't think I would be worried too much about how everything is packed. All right, so we got just a little backpack. It's actually super slim. You guys can actually see, right? It's not even bad. It's actually pretty light. 
you guys can see right 13.5 that's pounds so not kilos right depending where you are